Jake Paul dropped Mike Perry three times and route to a sixth round stoppage to ensure he will fight Mike Tyson later this year. Paul dominated from the opening bell against Bear, knuckle boxer and former UFC star Perry who was fighting for just the second time as a professional boxer. Perry was down in the first and second rounds but fought on valiantly until the sixth round when he hit the canvas again to force the referee to step in. Paul should have been facing heavyweight legend Tyson in front of 80,000 fans in Texas on Saturday night but the former undisputed world champion was forced to postpone the fight until November after suffering an ulcer flare up. Paul opted not to wait and took on Perry who had established himself as a world champion in bare knuckle boxer. But the stand in was up against it from the first bell when he was dropped by a right hand. The much smaller man bounced straight back up but Perry was standing too straight and was consistently troubled by Paul's backhand. He was wobbled again before the bell but managed to see out the session. He was down again seconds in the second round. However, as another perfectly placed right hand dumped him on the canvas. Perry resorted to dirty tactics as he wrestled. Paul to the ground before landing a left hook of his own which momentarily stopped Paul in his tracks. Perry continued to walk Paul down despite having little defense to speak of, and the YouTuber suffered a cut to his head as blood trickled down into his eye. Paul dominated the fourth round as he wobbled Perry with his jab and almost convinced the referee to step in before Perry fought back valiantly. Perry's bloodied face was checked twice by the doctor before he was allowed to start the fifth round. And Paul was content to box behind the jab during a quieter session. The end finally came in the next session when a left hook wobbled Perry before a flurry of blows with both hands sent him to defeat. On the undercard, Amanda Serrano destroyed Stevie Morgan inside two rounds. Serrano had been scheduled to take on Katie Taylor. On the undercard of Paul's clash with Tyson but that fight has also been moved to November. And Serrano took out her disappointment on Morgan. Dominating her once beaten challenger from the first bell until the referee stepped in after one final barrage. Former UFC Star Uriah Hall pushed former boxing world champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. all the way before dropping a six-round decision. Corey Marksman edged out Tony Aguilar in their rematch to finally settle their rivalry after another ten enthralling sessions. But prospect Ashton Silve was brutally knocked out in the sixth round of his toughest test to date. The 20-year-old appeared to be cruising to a points win before Lucas Body landed a left-right-left combination which left Silve face first on the canvas.